Holy shit. Shit. Oh shit. That's a really big bike, isn't it? That is what we came for, buddy. Xander, monster schluck. Nice. Good evening, guys. We are out on Monster Tales episode number two. Today we're gonna hunt big pike, hopefully some big Xander as well. And we're gonna target them using the revamped Monster Slug, one of my favorite baits, especially uh, last season. We definitely been slaying them with the Monster Slug. Um, there was a big shortage, like people couldn't buy them anymore. Like they, uh, they were completely out of stock and now we got some brand new colors, but also some improvements. And we're gonna head out today and um, chase those big pike. Can't wait, got some really nice colors available. So we, uh, we're we just gonna give it a big try and see what they want today. It's a dark, it's a not super cold, um, a bit of fog and later on some rainfall as well, but I am pumped, let's uh, get some big pike. <laughs> Feels like good fish. Shit. That's a really big pike, isn't it? Good job, buddy. That's a fighter. That's a big mirror. Let's get it in the net sweep. Yes! It looked a bit like all the Xander we saw before. Like, it was like, oh, it was an okay fish. Look at the back on that fish. That's a really white fish. And a really feisty fish as well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice thing. Show us what you got. Oh. <laughs> ah. Nice. That is what we came for, buddy. That's a proper tank, mate. A proper monster on the monster slug. Zo zit er een. Ik declareer hem op. 113. Die nice buddy. <laughs> What a beast. Happy fish as well. Yeah. Super nice fish. Nice. Nice. Yes. Let me. Good job. So, what we are doing is we are scouting for big pike and potentially big Xander as well. We are using a live transducer. We're using the down boat, so we're looking to the left and the right of the boat. I'm only using one live transducer, and I use the 2D for if the signal is building up, then I know that the fish is in front of the boat. If the signal is going down, then I know I need to go backwards again. And then with my uh, live transducer, I can see on the left and the right. If the fish is there, and that's also the live feedback that I'm getting once we're dropping, we're solely focusing on that uh, that live imaging. And the cool thing about that is when you drop your soft bait down, you're gonna see if the pike or the Xander is responding. You also know how far away you are from the fish, and you can even see where the head and the tail of the fish is. And we're fishing quite selectively. We do see a lot of Xander standing on the bottom, but we are mainly focusing on those big fish 
We are hunting for monsters. And once we find a big fish, we try to maneuver the boat in the correct position. We don't want to drop it down too fast and too harsh on top of the fish. Um, we want to try and make a really gentle approach. Ideally, we'll drop it down a bit sooner so that the bait glides a bit towards the fish. Then you have a natural presentation. Try to present it close towards the head, not too close, and then start moving it. Get its attention, and once you get the attention of the fish, most of the time you need to go up, up, up. Um, when we have two rules fishing like this, it's, you know, you either let the bait hang still, or you move it upwards. Unlike jigging and casting for Xander and for Pike, once you start moving towards the fish, you usually spook them. So it's a bit of a different game than what we're usually doing when we're casting or jigging for Xander or for Pike. But it's super fun to do. So I'm just going to scout, see if we can find some fish and uh, hopefully catch some monsters. Xander, a monster slug, 20 centimeters. Targeting pike today, but as you can see, sometimes big Xanders come in between. A feisty one. <laughs> out in the dark and also sitting in the rain with these cold temperatures but fish like this will keep you warm. lovely pike the rain isn't helping us <laughs> So these are the brand new Savage Gear Monster Slugs. We got them available in two different sizes, a 20 centimeter and a larger version, the 25 centimeter, which is really perfect for those really big pike and big Xanders. As you can see, we have also designed some special jig heads, which have a very special plastic coating around them, which match perfectly with the soft baits themselves. Looking at the technical details of the sheds themselves, all the soft baits have a double skin technology, which means that they have got a normal coating. And besides the normal paint job, we have added a special coating, which reflects the baits even better. Also, these baits come with a special air chamber. This makes sure that you can even better track the bait on the sonar. What's very essential for pelagic fishing is during fishing, you always want the bait horizontally in the water. If the bait hangs down like this, it's not a very natural presentation and it will scare the pike or center away. 
So because of this air chamber, you always have a perfect horizontal presentation of your bait. If you take a close look up to the bait, you can also see that there's a riddle chamber inside. It's positioned on a 45 degrees angle. So during the movement of the bait, you always have a very nice ticking sound. Especially during those dark nights, this can really make the small difference for the Xander or Big Pike to notice the bait in the water. So taking a close look at the soft bait heads themselves. So we get two sizes available, a 55 gram for the larger versions, 25 centimeter, and a 45 gram for the 20 centimeter versions. It's super easy to just get them mounted on a soft bait. The only thing you need to do is cut off a part of the head and you can just very easily twist them onto your soft bait. So you get a perfectly mounted and very natural looking bait presentation. So regarding the action of the bait, uh, we have two different types of actions, which is the natural like motion with the tail going up and down. And next to that, we also have a rolling action. And this is because the soft baits have a very nice round profile. So giving some small taps on the rods will make sure that the bait goes left to right. So really having a very nice flanking action. This can be super helpful for just getting the attention from the Xander or Pike uh, during pelagic fishing. So we got a very nice lineup of colors available. As you can see some very natural looking colors and as well some very nice UV reactive colors for those anglers which really like to have a little bit more brighter presentation into the water. So, really, really hungry pike. That's a 25 centimeter lure. Just totally gone. I think you got some pike knuckles, buddy. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's gonna hurt. So, guys, that's it for today. Monster Tales Episode 2. Episode 3 is also coming up. Make sure to grab your monster shad or your monster slug. They will be in stores coming January. Subscribe to the Savage Gear YouTube channel. Make sure to hit that like button down below. And we'll catch you guys 